Watson's YouTube page. My name is Nicole, aka The Dictionary, and I will be teaching you guys how to get this date night look tonight. So if you have a boyfriend and you're feeling like, hmm, you want to sass it up a little bit for him tonight, but you don't want to try too hot, this is the perfect makeup look for you. If you want to learn how to do this, then make sure you keep on watching. But first, you got to subscribe to Watson's YouTube channel. So click over here and subscribe now, okay? Don't forget. All right? Okay. All right. Let's get to it. All right, so first we are going to start off with eyebrows and I have over here Kill Brow Waxless Powder Pencil in the shade Light Brown. First, gonna start off by lining the top of your brow and then we're gonna go into the bottom of the eyebrow and after that, you wanna fill in starting from the back first and then feathering it out towards the front. And with the back spooly end of the eyebrow pencil, you just wanna feather out this front bit. There. Next, we are going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Zen 20 and I'm going to use this to carve out my eyebrow. Now, this is a trick that I really use to make sure that my eyebrow is nice and snatched. What I would do is I would take a flat brush and I would go under the eyebrow and this is going to give your eyebrow a really defined shape. And then... And then slowly move to the front. Can you see the difference between this one and this one? This one looks a little bit more rough around the edges and this one is like really nice and sharp. Alright, we're gonna go in with that same concealer and I'm gonna use this to prime my eyes. I like to just use my fingers to blend it out. And it gives it a nice base ready to put eyeshadow on it. Today we are going to do a very, very simple halo eye. I will be using the Max Factor X Masterpiece Nude Palette in the shade Golden Nude. And what we're going to do is, we're going to go in with the darkest shade, which is a little bit like a black. We're going to put it right at the outer corner of the eye. And we're also going to put it at the inner corner of the eye. Now what you want to do is you want to use a shimmery shade, kind of like that brown that you saw. For a transition color, we are going to use a BBIA Single Eyeshadow Palette in the shade 04. And we're just going to dab that fluffy brush in there. And we're going to use this to sweep all over our eyelids. To give our eyeshadow a pop of color, we are going to go in with this Eclipse Lively Liquid Glitter Shadow in the shade Whiskey Beam. And we're gonna pop that right in the middle of our eye. So we're just gonna use that right over here. Draw a line down and it will just disperse the product along the eye. Oh my god, the color is so pretty. Yeah, it looks so nice. So I like to pat it with my fingers just because I think it gives a more even spread than using brushes. To complete the eyes, we are going to go in with this brand new Seacoat Smudge Proof Eyeliner. It's the first time I'm trying it out, so let's see how it goes. I like to start with the wing. And you go into the top. And then with a really steady hand, you want to draw a line all the way in your eye. And then go from the inner corner and drag that line out to join it. Another trick that I like to use is I like to press down with my baby finger and pull up that. And you can see all this skin that you gotta fill in with eyeliner. You get my eye, my eye black. So right now I'm going to do my other eye, pop on some lashes and I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back and now my eyes are all done so we can move on to the face. Now we are going to use Cleo's Kill Cover Ample Cushion in the shade Ginger and I'm just going to use the sponge that's been provided in here and dip it in with like three fingers. So I like to start up first on the center portion of my face and slowly pat it in. Now you never want to swipe with the cushion, you always want to dab and this way you get to really push all the product into your pores and let your face look Matched. Next, 
I'm going to use this Revlon Insta Blush Stick and I'm actually going to use this as a contour because I really like this color and I think it suits my skin really well. I'm going to go in here to the hollows of my cheekbones right under my jaw and just dot around my head a little bit. And then you want to go into the middle of your nose just to carve it out and like right under your chin here. Then you want to take a sponge and you want to use the sponge and dab it Oops. until it's nice and blended. Alright, next we are going to go in with the Kill Cover Liquid Concealer in the shade 3BY. I'm going to do three dots and along the bridge of my nose, the highest point of my nose and my chin and my forehead. I'm going to go in with that same sponge and I'm just going to blend this out. To really finish up the eyes, we are going to go and do the under eyes. So I am going to pick the black shade from the palette and pick it up very lightly because it's super pigmented. We are going to use the O Tank Tank Volume Cleo Professional Mascara just to do the under eye mascara. Now I like this mascara wand because it is curved and it will fit perfectly for your under eyes. So you just want to wiggle it back and forth. To finish off the face, we are going to go in with the Clio Pro Multi Face Blusher in the color Berry Delight. And we're going to take a brush and we're just going to rub it into all three colors and pick up all that product. And you want to go into the center or the most rosy parts of your cheek and lightly pat the product in. Now, I believe this is a new product. I've never tried it out before, but it's the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in the shade Molten Rose. This looks so interesting. I'm gonna use this to highlight my face, and I'm just gonna put it, pat my brush into it. Let's have a look. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I can't live without highlighter. Highlighter is my life. I like going into my fingers just to highlight the tip of my nose and my chin and also the bridge. And don't forget like right on top of your eyebrows just to give it a little bit of highlight. And last but not least, we are going to do our lips. I've got two colors for you today because I want it to be a glossy color. We're going to start off first with the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink liquid lipstick in the shade Driver. To top off the gloss, I'm going to use Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream in the shade Apricot Silk. Now this is gonna give me that real high shine gloss that I want. enjoyed this makeup tutorial if you guys want me to do any more challenges or any more makeup looks remember to comment down below and make sure you guys subscribe to Watson's YouTube channel okay if you like my face you want to see my face again make sure you subscribe okay and I will see you guys real soon bye